If you're an HVAC engineer, you should know the difference between instantaneous load and time series. Honestly, this was the most confusing thing for me about calculating external loads, but I think I found a good way to explain it. Let's look at the exterior load through a wall assembly. To understand time series, we first need to understand instantaneous load. This is the basic equation for load through an assembly and is how we'll calculate instantaneous load. So for this wall assembly, it's going to be Q is equal to the U value, which if you want to know how to get U value, check out the video from yesterday, times the area times delta T. And this will give us 2000 BTUs. It's a good estimate, but it's not exactly right because there's a time delay to the heat transfer that occurs. If we're calculating this for 2 p.m. when it's 100 degrees outside, these 2000 BTUs don't instantly transfer to the space. They may transfer through the wall assembly over time, sometimes hours. This is where time series comes in. Take a look at this graph right here. This accounts for the delay in load entering the space. And the time series for an assembly defines how much heat is transferred with each passing hour. So for this wall assembly, it's showing 70% will be transferred in the first hour, 20% in the second, 5% in the third, and so on. So at 2 p.m., we'll call it in, 70% of that 2,000 BTU total will enter the space. That comes out to 1,400 BTUs. But that's not our final answer because the load didn't just appear at 2 p.m. There was also a load an hour ago. And now a percentage of that load is entering the space. Likewise, there was load two hours ago. And a percentage of that is now entering the space. And when we calculate using time series, we actually plot this out a full 24 hours previous to the hour for which we're calculating load. So if I'm calculating for 2 p.m., now I go back an hour and it's not the same instantaneous load. The load was different at 1 p.m. So I'm gonna take 20% of a different load, which comes out to 360 BTUs. And then likewise for the hour before, 75 BTUs. And imagine I did this for the last 24 hours, figuring out the load at that time, and then plotting the time series to see how much is entering my space. If I just take these three at 2 p.m., I'm looking at 1,835 BTUs. This curve right here represents the time series for this assembly. And the steepness of the curve varies based on the thermal mass of the assembly. So for a high mass concrete wall, this is gonna be a much more gradual curve like so. But for a window, this is going to be a very steep drop off where most of your load will get through in the first hour and very little transfers later. Nobody wants to do this by hand for every hour and every assembly to determine a true peak load, which is why programs like the one built by myself and the team at HVACer are very helpful.